Just when everyone is looking forward to the good news about Starz's highly popular fantasy drama, we've been hit with tragic news instead. Recently, reports came in stating that Outlander's Katrina Balfe is heartbroken after the passing of a family member which led to a flood of fan tributes. Find out more about this story in today's episode, so make sure you keep watching to find out more. The news came in that Katrina Balfe from Outlander laments her father's unexpected death. Katrina Balfe, the lead actress, is in sadness following the news that her adored father, James Jim Bell passed away unexpectedly earlier this month. Heartfelt condolences have poured in for the Outlander actress and her family after Jim's passing was made public. On August 2nd, the retired Garda sergeant passed away suddenly in the Mater Hospital in Ireland. Jim of Mullentimor, Tide of Net Co., Monaghan, and formerly of Blassington Co., Wicklow was preceded in death by his parents Kathy and Walter, as well as his sister Margie, Bridie, and Angela, according to RIP.ie. The online death notice reads, Jim will be lovingly remembered by his wife Anne, children Deirdre, Kevin, Anne-Marie, Katrina, Francis, Lorraine, and David, daughters-in-law Catherine and Kathy, sons-in-law Paul, Sean, and Tony, grandchildren, brothers, sisters, extended family, and friends. While Katrina is still silent regarding the passing of her father, there are many tributes for Jim and his family under the condolences area. One follower requested that they express their condolences to her and her family in writing for the literally thousands of followers who had done so on Facebook as of late. The fan reminded Balth that she is loved and they all wish for her to find peace. Another person expressed their sadness at Jim's demise and referred to him as a great gentleman in a letter. They continued by expressing their deepest condolences to Anne and the entire family. Then, a week after her father's passing, Katrina Balfe shares a touching tribute to her late father. Balfe shared a letter and a picture of her father on her social media account where she called him a mountain of a man. He was a mountain of a man, big in stature and personality, Balfe wrote. His presence and influence was huge in my life. He was loved by so many and will be missed by us all. Thank you to all our neighbors and friends for their kindness and thoughtfulness over this past week. The modicum born model turned actress continued, thanking everyone for their support during the trying time. The new mother, who gave birth to her first kid in August of last year, closed the message by expressing her gratitude for being fortunate enough to be able to refer to him as dad. Katrina reflected on her childhood as a Garda's daughter and how her father influenced her in an interview last January. Balfe clearly recalls some families and other situations in which they avoided interacting with her because she is a guard's daughter or comes from a guard's family. She believes it must have had some sort of impact and find it amusing to think of her father, who was performing skits and possibly wearing a bridal gown, while also being this very stern police guard a sergeant who was pretty stoic. Balfe continued by saying that she was affected by the fact that he was somewhat of a performance. Although the tragic news of the actress's father left is saddened, many more are in amazement after seeing Balfe's audition tape for Outlander got released to the public. The actress's audition tape was shared by fans by Sony Pictures on August 9 in honor of the show's 8th anniversary. The network stated in the caption, From the moment Katrina Balfe was first discovered, it was crystal clear she was our Claire. Before making the transition to acting, Balfe started her career as a model. In addition, she co-starred with George Clooney and Julia Roberts in the 2016 movie Money Monster, and with Matt Damon and Christian Bale in the 2019 movie Ford vs. Ferrari, she she received nominations for a Screen Actors Guild Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Critics' Choice Movie Award, and a British Academy Film Award for her performance in Kenneth Branagh's semi-autobiographical movie, Belfast. Outlander's sixth season debuted in March. Season 7 is presently in production and will make up for the shortened sixth season during the pandemic with a total of 16 episodes. But that's not all. A prequel to Outlander titled Outlander Blood of My Blood was also confirmed by Stars on August 4. In a statement posted on Stars' press page, the company's head of original programming, Catherine Busby, expressed excitement about exposing the roots of this dynamic world to their viewers. So, what do we know about Outlander's confirmed prequel? The title of the upcoming Outlander prequel series, Blood of My Blood, was eventually announced on August 4. The writer's room has reportedly begun drafting the scripts for the next series, which has been long rumored but was only officially announced in February 2022. The love story of Jamie Fraser's parents, Ellen McKenzie and Brian Fraser, will be the main subject of the television show. It has now been been revealed. Matthew B. Roberts, the showrunners of the Outlander series, will return to write and executive produce the prequel. As executive producers, Ronald D. Moore and Meryl Davis will also be back. So, what's the plot of Blood of My Blood? Although Blood of My Blood will undoubtedly remain cloaked in secrecy for a while, we do have a general idea of what the plot may include. There are several novellas and short stories that accompany the Outlander novels, but only one of them is a prequel. As followers of Diana Gabaldon's original book series will know, in the novella Virgins, 
Jamie Fraser, then 19, and other mercenaries in France during the 18th century are the main characters. Gabaldon did admit in February that she has begun writing a prequel book in addition to the 10th and maybe last installment of the Outlander series. She disclosed in a Facebook post that it will center on Jamie Fraser's mother, Ellen McKenzie, indicating that it will take place far earlier than Virgin's. Although it's unclear if Ellen will play a major role in the prequel series, it's simple to picture a story that starts with her upbringing in the Scottish Highlands and follows her courtship with Brian Fraser, as well as the birth of Jamie and her other children. Sam Hewen stated as much in a June interview with Esquire UK, confirming that the show will center on his character's parents so he won't be making an appearance. But he also acknowledged that he couldn't completely rule out appearing in the prequel series because of how fluid time is in the Outlander universe. Now, bouncing back to Outlander, Katrina Balth teased that a double death may happen at the ending of Outlander. The seventh season of Outlander is still being produced. Although an eighth season has not yet been announced, because of this, many are worried that the show may be coming to an end. Outlander actress Katrina Balth teased that Sam Human's character, Jamie Fraser, and his time-traveling wife might both die. When asked how she would like the series to conclude, the actress said it would have to be with both characters passing away because they are dependent on one another. After spending 20 years apart, Claire and Jamie reunited in season 3 and vowed never to be separated once more. Richard Brown, played by Chris Chris Larkin and his crew attempted to tear the Frasers apart in the season 6 finale. While Jamie was going to be put on a ship back to Scotland, he took Claire to a Wilmington jail where she will be tried for the murder of Jessica Reynolds's Malv Christie. Fortunately, Jamie was saved by John Bell's young Ian after his plot went awry and he is now headed to rescuing Claire. It demonstrates that the couple will battle for their relationship and never give up on one another. Valve revealed that Sam knows how the series will end but would rather remain in the dark about Jamie's fate. She did, however, express her wishes for how she would like the pair's relationship to end. I think it has to be a Romeo and Juliet moment, right? Where we are both together, or a Noise and Deidre moment where Jamie and Claire sort of lie together and slowly drift off, the actress said. Aside from Balf's update, her co-star also shared a disappointing update recently. Fans will have to wait another long time for more Droughtlander since he announced that filming won't end until after March. He once stated that during the filming of season 7, time is passing quickly and although it seems like they just started, they are already on the sixth episode. The upcoming season, he noted to Esquire, will take some time because it is an 18-episode bumper super season, so they most likely won't be ready until March or February of next year. He added that this year is a huge one because last year, due to COVID and her co-star Katrina Balf's pregnancy, they had to postpone it and cut it back by six episodes. Despite the prolonged delay, Outlander fans are still devoted to the show and are anticipating the release of new episodes. And with that, we're wrapping up today's episode about the latest on the actress Katrina Balfe and the Outlander series. What are you most excited about for next season? Let us know in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with a notification bell on for more videos like these. Thanks for watching and see you next time.